As we continue to highlight African Americans making a difference in the community for Black History Month. Tonight we want to shine the spotlight on an area businessman who has created a multi-million dollar business on Southern Cuisine. Our Karen Greer sits down with the CEO and founder of This Is It, Southern Kitchen and Seafood. Welcome to This Is It, how you doing today? I need a delicious oxtail dinner coming back. It's one of Metro Atlanta's most popular homestyle restaurants. I have some other pork chops, one dinner or two. This Is It, Southern Kitchen and Barbecue is a true American success story. Well, it came from my mother and my father. You know, you know, I was born and raised in Tampa, Florida, of the first black-owned restaurant in Tampa, Florida in 1951. We got barbecue chicken, we got the rib tip. Shelly Butch Anthony III, CEO and founder, wanted to keep his parents' vision from Main Street in West Tampa alive to serve the African-American community. My mother created the first stainless steel round diner and it went from there. They were open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Mr. Anthony quickly learned the journey would be long and full of obstacles and challenges. Oh yes, I can remember coming home and, and living in some departments in, in Decatur, coming home and got to my dose, I had passed where people was getting put out at. You know how they put your stuff up on the street? And when I got home, the notice was on my door. All right, them collard greens just brought out. And he learned to conquer victory. He needed a higher power. Starting this is it, you know, and the contractor ran off with all the money. <laughs> but we got that first restaurant open. I spent all the money that I had, and in 19, 87, I found Jesus Christ. 11 This Is It locations are now strategically placed around Metro Atlanta. Anthony says he hopes he can fill people up with good food and a powerful message. I mean, God has done so many amazing things through This Is It. And the reason for it is people's lives have got changed. People have, people call me back 10, 15 years later and say thank you. I didn't know then, but I know now. The restaurant mogul, now a multimillionaire with successful restaurants and real estate ventures, has a 10th grade education. I always say no matter how much money you got, how much education you got, don't leave God out. He doesn't use computers. On his desk, handwritten notes, plans for his future. Seek God first. You can have a dream. But is, but is that God's plan for your life? One day, I got a two-piece mother pork chop coming down. All of his children are part of the business. His son, Telly, serving as dad's right hand. Hey, you got some uh, turkey chops. You got some uh, salmon nuggets. Oh, boy, fried chicken. It don't matter how hard it get and what you got to go through. Trust God. Believe him. Put him in the front of your plane. Okay, you know you gotta give me the lie. Because what's the one thing folks love, love, love over here? It's the, nice and loud, it's the what? It's the real tips! <laughs> I love it. If you wanna learn more about Mr. Anthony's inspiring story, you might wanna check out his new memoir, God Has a Place for the Underdog. It's a quick read his inspiring story of how God uses ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Karen Greer, CBS 46 News.